What's up guys? It is Carly here bringing you day 15 of my 31 days of horror and today I'm going to be talking about a German film from the year 2011 and that is simply titled Hell and um yeah this is a German film. The funny thing is when I started watching it um I at first I thought the dialogue was completely off because it seemed like it wasn't matching up with their lips and I didn't realize it was German. Um, I assumed, you know, everyone was just speaking English, but it is dubbed, but that was just something that kind of threw me off at first. Um, but yeah, hell, um, the plot with this one is it's pretty much a post-apocalyptic um, <laughs> world where uh, basically the sun has um, decreased or increased in heat significantly over the years and it has gotten to the point where um, you can pretty much not survive in it. Uh, you kind of have to cover up because it's dangerously hot. Um, the forests are like being burned um, and animals are dying off and just everything has pretty much died off because the sun is just way too hot to live in and you're essentially following this main group of characters where you have Marie and her little sister Leone and this dude Philip. I think it's um Marie's boyfriend or husband or something like that and um as well as this uh, mechanic that they end up running into early on in the film who they find to be a pretty big help. So um pretty much all they have is each other. Uh, you learn Marie and uh, Leone their parents have died. Uh, their mom has died off um so they pretty much only have each other and then of course Philip and this other guy and they are traveling trying to get to the top of this uh hill or the mountains where um supposedly there is a water supply because they're all kind of running low on water and food and um there's essentially supposed to be water up in these mountains or so they've heard so they're traveling in this covered up car to get to that and meanwhile they come into some problems along the way where they're ambushed by this mysterious group of people and um they kind of get separated and it goes from there so yeah, this is one in the collection that I kind of put off for a while. Um, JP actually got me this, and I know he actually got it at um, Big Lots. I remember seeing it there and thinking it looked kind of cool by the cover, and he ended up picking it up for me for Christmas. But I kind of put it off because sometimes these, like, um, I guess, end of the world type of movies where um, something has gone wrong, whether it be zombies or um, just something with the earth in general that is causing everyone to die off and fight for survival. I find them to be kind of downer of films and that is definitely what you're getting with this one. Um, you know, it's a downer of film. It has kind of that, I don't want to say washed out look. It's not necessarily that, but um, there's a lot of scenes in the woods and stuff where it's just very dark and gloomy and um, I think the movie is shot pretty well in that aspect and also whenever they're out during the daylight, I think that's shot well as well. Um, it's very bright and sunny, which I believe I read that hell actually means bright in German, so it's um, kind of cool. It's quite literally like a double meaning there with the title because it's like they're burning up in hell and also it's kind of just the overall brightness of the sun. Um, but I think it is shot really well with night and day capturing like how hot and miserable it really is on the earth and how hard it is to uh, kind of live in these environments. Everyone looks really sweaty and just kind of run down and fatigued from uh, the situation they're in. Um, you know, I find that a lot of these movies kind of feel the same. Like this one to me kind of has sort of a Stakeland type of vibe. I've only seen that movie once, but that's just sort of uh, with the overall atmosphere and characters. That's kind of the same vibe that I get for it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I also find these movies are all usually pretty well done. This one I would say is one of your basic um, to the point type of movies where there's not a lot of I guess downtime or anything like that. There's nothing really unneeded in this movie. It's, it only runs an hour and a half and it does get to the point of the plot, which I appreciate. You're not really bored with it or anything. And um, when they are ambushed and uh, they kind of, you got Marie who gets uh, separated from her sister and she's trying to desperately get back to her because as I mentioned earlier, they mentioned multiple times that all they have is each other and it's very important for her to find her and um, just, when you kind of learn of what's going on with these people who are kidnapping people, it's very um, dark and disturbing and um, I think it's all well done with uh, being, you know, kind of a terrifying situation. These movies don't always necessarily 
scare me, but um, I guess it's kind of more of that realistic fear where this is what could essentially uh, probably happen if the world were to um, come to sort of an end and uh, you're faced with these uh, situations where you just have to try to survive and it doesn't matter what's right or wrong. Um, I feel like this is definitely how humans would react in these situations. So uh, for that alone, I think it's pretty well done. Um, the acting is really good too. Uh, the dub kind of throws it off a little bit, especially with Marie's voice. Um, it's a little bit annoying and not, um, doesn't seem like it really fits her necessarily, but you know, that's not really the fault of the actress or anything like that. Other than that, I think the acting is pretty solid. Um, like I said, downer of a movie, um, even, you know, the ending portions and everything, it's uh, a downer all the way throughout. So if you're not in the mood to kind of be watching something depressing, I would say maybe not watch this one. And um, like I said, there's other movies out there like this. Uh, I was reading some of the re reviews on IMDb just out of curiosity. And I saw a lot of people comparing it to The Road, which I've actually never seen that movie. I believe that was actually filmed in my town, if I'm not uh, mistaken. The town I live in currently, um, if I'm thinking of the right movie, which is pretty cool. I do want to check that one out eventually, but I saw a lot of people kind of comparing this to that. So, um, you know, I, like I said, I feel like these, a lot of these movies kind of feel the same, but at the same time, they do their own thing. And I feel like this one does kind of have its own little plot going on, which I do appreciate. So, Overall, I thought it was decent. Um, I do recommend it if you do like these sort of um, survival movies slash end of the world post-apocalyptic, I can't say that word, um, things. So I give this one a solid 8 out of 10. So thank you guys once again for joining me here for day 15 of my 31 days of horror. And of course, I will see you tomorrow for day 16.